We'll start with the Warriors win over the Suns in their third matchup of the season. They now lead that season series two games to one. That could very much matter at the end of the season, considering how close they've been in the standings. But how impressed did you come away with Golden State? It changed my MVP vote if I had one. And from this standpoint, when you look at Matt, you and I was talking about this in the back. When you look at this Golden State Warriors team yesterday, I'm watching the game saying there is no way they're going to win this game in Phoenix. Phoenix is healthy. Golden State got Andrew Wiggins and others out. But yet they found a way to win. And, and the only thing I can come up with, Steph Curry. He makes everybody on that basketball team better. When you watch Otto Porter yesterday, Otto Porter had a great game. But if you watch the game, Otto Porter was setting a lot of back screens, down screens. In 3D, they tell you this. The guy that sets the best screen is normally going to be the person that's open. That's right. So Otto Porter was setting great screens for Steph Curry. The defense was shifting, going with him. He was coming off on the backside, weak side, knocking down shots. And I realized at that moment, they were undersized. They didn't have a center. It was like a 6-7 team on the floor. But they play so well together offensively and defensively. They could overcome any shortcomings. And in my mind, once they get those other two guys back, James Wiseman and Klay Thompson, they got to be the favorites because they're winning games right now because they're just the best basketball team overall. Yeah, it's amazing to me how well the Warriors have done with players who have been rejected by other teams or are on the fringe of the NBA or out of the NBA. I mean, let's be honest, Otto Porter Jr., kind of playing his way through the league at this point, and now he's an important part of their rotation. I call it the system, uh, guys. And when, when Steph Curry was hurt last year, and obviously Clay's been hurt the last couple of years, who you saw, we talked about Otto Porter, but you just saw different guys that Steve Kerr and that coaching staff been able to empower to play the right way and tap into their skill set, like we talked about Andrew Wiggins, who you had first couple of years of his career. So what the system allows you to do is move without the basketball, set good screens. Even if you're an okay ball handler, can you pass and move? Mm -hmm. So now a lot of movement, you know you love this as a coach. When you have a lot of movement on the offensive end of the floor, me as a shooter, I started smiling. Back in our era, I had to either come off down screens or wait for Penny and Shaq and post-ups. Where now as a shooter, you give the ball up and just run to an open spot and you know someone's going to give you the basketball. That's what's fun watching the system and watch how these guys play together. And Matt, you can't defend it because right. when you go with your scouting report and you're trying to defend what Golden State do, how do you defend this stuff? So you got to go back to your principles. You got to see man and ball. You got to call out screens. You got to have constant communication. And what's the biggest thing NBA teams don't do today? Talk. They don't talk. Don't talk. And if you yeah. don't talk against Golden State, they're going to get through. They're going to lay up you to death. And then they're just going to get free for those wide open three. Well, not only are they great at what they do, but they do something that virtually no one else league wide does. So it's a little like running into the old Suns with Steve Nash, where on a random Tuesday night in the middle of the NBA season, a team would find themselves down by 20 after the first quarter because they just didn't see that on a nightly basis. They, they take full advantage of every mistake you make. So if it's a turnover, it's going to be a wide open three or a dunk. And then defensively, I think Draymond talked about it recently, we don't give Steph Curry enough credit on how he's improved his body and how he plays defense now. Mm -hmm. So the way he competes in the fourth quarter, like he showed us on Christmas Day, didn't shoot the ball particularly well, 10 of 27, but down the stretch, made the right extra pass. Or, wait a minute, I love the three. I'm the three champion. Now I'm going to go get a layup on you guys and give you something different. That's what makes him special late-game situations. And they're still waiting on Klay Thompson. Oh, and Draymond said he still can shoot it. Still waiting on James Weissman. He's still.